today I'm going to show you how to play Kid by the Pretenders. It's got a lot of parts to it. It's a lot of fun to play. It was one of Johnny Marr's favorite songs to warm up on. So let's get started. Here's the intro riff, slowly. So we start on the 6th string, 3rd fret, then go to the 5th string and play open, 2nd, 3rd, then 4th string, open, 2nd, then land on the 1st fret, 6th string. And remember this note for later. Next we're going to go to the 2nd fret, 5th string. And we're going to pluck twice, and I think it sounds best if you pluck up-down so that the second one is louder. Do the same thing on the fifth string open, third fret, sixth string, first fret, sixth string, and open, sixth string. So, so far from the top we have... Next, we go 1, 3 on the 6th string, open, 2, 3 on the 5th string, Oops. that's the better rhythm, and then land on the 3rd fret, 4th string. Next, we're going to slide from about the 5th fret to the 7th fret, 4th string, 3rd finger. Reach back with your first finger to the third string, fifth fret. So, they ring out together. Then the third finger moves down a whole step to the fifth fret. Second finger to the fourth fret. And you take the same shape down a whole step to the third and second frets. So we've got. Then we're gonna do Another slide to the 7th fret, but it's 5th string this time. So 5th string, 7th fret, 4th string, 5th fret. Take the same shape down a whole step. And then the 1st finger comes off, 3rd finger goes down a whole step to the 3rd fret, and 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string. And the, the end of this intro riff bleeds into the verse, which is starting on a C chord, and you can see that you can go straight into the C chord. All right, so I'm gonna do it one more time from the top. does come back one more time. The second time you play it, it's not as long. What happens is you land on this first fret, sixth string. And instead of doing all those double plucks, all of that stuff, you go straight from this F to the slidey part. This happens right before the second verse. So listen for that. Next, we'll take a look at the verse and the chorus. Both parts are just strumming chords, so let's take a look. Here's the verse. So that's a C. A minor, F over C, if you don't know F over C, you're barring strings one and two on the first fret, second 
finger is on the third string th uh, second fret, third finger is on the fifth string third fret, and pinky is on the fourth string third fret, strumming from the four uh, fifth string down. <laughs> and then G. Each of those chords is for two measures or for eight beats. So you could think of doing eight down ups for each chord. And here's the chorus. So the chords are C major seventh. Looks like a C without the first finger down. A sus two, so to transition from the C major seventh, just take your third finger and move it to the second fret third string. Strum from the fifth string down. Then F, you can do F over C or F. Again, and then G. Now over the F chord, the bass moves down to a D. So you'll hear that on the recording. It almost sounds like, like that chord, which is a D minor seventh. And you can choose to do that if you don't have a bass player playing with you or if it sounds better to you. Now as far as the timing goes on the chorus, it's eight beats of C major seventh just like eight beats in the um, the verse chords. Eight beats of A minor, or A sus two, pardon me. Then for the F, it's 12 beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the G is only four beats. You can continue with a down up strumming on the chorus if you want or you can just do the one strum, which is a little bit louder on the recording. Or you can do some kind of combination of the two strums. So that's the verse and the chorus. Next is the bridge. It's all power chords. It's the most driven uh, heavy rock part. Here's the whole bridge. So all power chords on the sixth string root, it starts on the fifth fret, move down a whole step to the third fret, and then the first fret. Then we're gonna repeat that. The second time, you're gonna skip the first strum, the little break right there. So it's like rest. Third time, go back to, and do what you did the first time. And then you're gonna stay on the F on the first fret power chord. eight strums, and then go to the third fret power chord for eight more strums. Or you could do the lead part instead of that F to G at the end, you could go, you could go to the So it's a slide into an F major triad, barring strings one and two on the 13th fret, and then second finger on the 14th fret third string, plucking the third string, kind of sliding into the third string, and then one, two, three. So that's three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then same thing up a whole step on the 15th and 16th frets. And that's the whole bridge. Next I'll go over the guitar solo, one of my favorite parts of the song. The first section is like a jangly part and the second section is more 
kind of Americana sounding using the E major pentatonic scale. Let's take a look. First, I'll play it all the way through slowly. going to start with a hammer on pull off on the first string, second fret to the fourth fret. So hammer, pull, and then another pull to open. Then second string open. Then I'm going to do a slide on the second fret, both third and fourth string, third and second strings from two to four. I'm using these fingers for a reason. They aren't all that natural uh, to use, but we're gonna we're gonna need them. So strumming both strings, and then let them ring out and pluck one, two. Lift up the pinky, slide from four to six. Place the first finger on the fourth fret second string, and pluck one, two, three, one, two, three. So, so far we have Next, we are gonna go to the first finger on the second fret third string. And then I use my pinky, but you can use your third if it's more comfortable. On the uh, second string fourth fret and pluck Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then remove the pinky and keep the first finger down and pluck one, two, three, three times. So that's the first section, the jangly section. Um, Couple of tips. I'm a proponent of putting the finger down at the last second right before you need it. So for this, you'll notice that I didn't put my first finger down until the first string was ringing out open. Just to make sure that I, that I'm, I'm getting it without um, inadvertently dampening it by putting this down first and I do the same thing over here with this position instead of putting everything down and then I put what I need down first which is the first finger then pluck the first string open and then carefully place the fourth finger so that it's not blocking the first string and that's helped me um, get a little bit more smooth all right now let's move on to the next section. We've just ended here on the second fret. Then we're going to go to the first fret on the third string and do a bend. Now I actually switched to my second finger because my second finger is stronger and it's really hard to bend on this guitar at the first fret. Uh, use whatever finger is more comfortable for you. I'm going to bend down, a half step bend and release. second fret, fifth string second to fourth fret, back to the second fret fourth string twice. So that whole phrase sounds like this. Then we're going to plug this note one more time on the second fret, then do a slide from four to six on the fourth string, fourth fret third string, fifth fret, second string, seventh fret, second string, fifth fret, second string, back to the seventh fret with a bend, up and release. 
and then back to the fifth fret. So I'm gonna take it again from this bend at the first fret. And then next we're going to the sixth fret third string to the fourth fret. And then same thing on the next string, but instead of plucking them individually, we're gonna do a slide from six to four. And then land on two on the fourth string. Then slide back up from four to six on the fourth string. Fourth fret third string. Slide back down, six to four. Back to the E on the second fret, fourth string. Then fifth string, four to two. And then second fret, sixth string, bend. And release. Open sixth string. Harmonic on the first string, twelfth fret. Harmonic, meaning you're gonna just place your finger directly on top of the fret and press very gently on the string. You're not gonna push into the fretboard like you normally do when you fret a note. So that's the entire solo. I feel like I should take it one more time from this bend. So once the solo started, the song transposed to the key of E, and it's gonna stay in the key of E from here on out. So we're gonna repeat some of the parts, but we have to move the chords up two whole steps to the key of E. Let's take a look. After the guitar solo, the guitar drops out and it's just bass. And when the guitar does come back in, it's over the part that I'm calling the chorus. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So that's E major seventh. You're on the seventh fret, fifth string, ninth fret, fourth string, eighth fret, third string, ninth fret, second string. And you can bar with your first finger to strum from the fifth to the first strings. And then C sharp sus two. This is kind of like the A sus two we did earlier, but it's two whole steps up, so it's C sharp sus two, barring on the fourth fret, strings five through one, third finger on the sixth fret, fourth string, third finger on the sixth fret, third string. And then next we're gonna go to an F sharp minor seventh chord. I finger like this. Some people do it with a bar like that, which I find to be pretty difficult. So fourth, string, fourth fret with the first finger. Second finger on the fifth string, sorry, fifth fret, second string. Third finger on the fifth fret, first string. Fourth finger on the sixth fret, third string, strumming from the fourth string. Twice. Or you can bar your second finger on the first and second strings and use your third finger here. Then the verse comes in and this is the part that's mirroring the C, A minor, F, G part, but it's in the key of E. So we're gonna do E, C sharp minor, A, B. Are all just standard bar chords. The E is on the seventh fret, fifth string, barring to the first string, and then third finger is barring on the ninth fret, strings four, three, and two. C sharp minor, you can play it here or here. Uh, ninth fret, six strings, sixth string root, eleventh fret, 
on both the fifth and fourth strings. A is a bar chord on the fifth fret all the way down, second finger on the sixth fret, third string, third finger on the seventh fret, fifth string, fourth finger on the seventh fret, fourth string. A, and then take that same shape of a whole step to the seventh, eighth, and ninth frets for the B. You can also hear some arpeggios at this point. I couldn't exactly make out what they are. It kind of sounds like a different instrument, maybe a harpsichord. Feel free to arpeggiate these chords. Something like that would work. So that's the verse and the chorus in the key of E. And next is the outro solo. So some more guitars come in, overdubbed, and then the song fades out kind of in the middle of the solo. But I'll go over what happens before the fade out. So I'll play this part all the way through. So that's one of the loudest parts. It's going to start on the first string, second fret to open. And then open second string and first fret third string. And repeat that one more time. Then we go back to the first two notes, two and zero on the first string. Then it's gonna to go to the second fret on the second string and the second fret on the third string. And then finally, fourth fret to second fret on the first string. And then fourth fret on strings two and three. So that's. So that's one of the parts. Another part I'm hearing is the same four notes that you started with, but uh, 16th notes. So same exact notes. I'm doing a pull off for the first two notes though. So you could continue that for all of those segments. And then another guitar comes in very close to the end that does this. And that's right where it fades out. So that's all on the fifth string and it's two, four, six, seven, four. And you can only imagine that the, that sequence kept going before the fade out. If you wanna play it for longer, you just go up the E major scale. So that's the entire outro solo. So there you have it, all the parts to Kid by the Pretenders. Have fun with that one. Let me know how you do with it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.